What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button for me. And I wanted this is the first time I actually doing a video about this guy. And you know, the reason why I'm doing a video about him is because he number one had one of the most thought provoking, controversial enlightening videos of the 2010s and that and that was this is america and i'm talking about childish gambino aka donald glover now my thoughts about this song years later is that it truly was ahead of its time it sounds like something prince would release because you really get to see in a different form of fashion of the way these new artists are addressing the topic. Because see, whereas you have artists like Ice-T, N.W.A., they was coming out there and being more brash and addressing the ills of society. Childish Gambino, he did it in a way where he incorporated different messages. It Many people will probably say it sounded a bit more safer. Because I did make a joke on the collie when I said that this song is fight the power for niggas with quest love afros. <laughs> but aside from that, there's a lot of imagery that he spoke on on this song. Like. There's a lot like he, he spoke on the gun violence. He he spoke on. The culture's obsession of dance music, hence why the way he was dancing so sassy. With the tight pants. Then. I like also that he used the ad libs. From different rappers. Doing the verses. Like you know Kodak Black. 21 Savage and Young Thug. I also like. How. He will first. As soon as you look at the video. You get comfortable. And then. You see something else that brings you out of that comfortability. Like you see him dancing with the with the choir. Then he just get a rifle and just shoots him. I'm like, wow, he's talking about the the Dylan Roof situation here. Then on top of that, from the beginning of the video, you start seeing the way he was posed. He did the whole Jim Crow pose. And you see a lot of that type of imagery. I would consider Childish Gambino to be the Jordan Peele of hip hop. Because, see, you look at Jordan Peele, a lot of people will see that Jordan Peele was a cornball brother, but he found his niche along white society. But he knows the end in white society. and He put tra he puts that in his art where it's also horrifying, but it's also thought-provoking and it's real. Just like when he did films like Get Out. I would consider that song This Is America as that this version of Get Out, the hip hop version of Get Out, because you are incorporating different messages that may go over your head that you didn't see. So it's one of those things that you have to look at a couple times to really get it. And, and it may overlook and overshadow you. Just like I watched the video again today. I didn't even pay attention to the white horse in the background. I didn't pay attention to People wearing masks could possibly predict the pandemic. That goes to show you that, you know, when people hit that creative stride, they really truly be ahead of its time. Even with Get Out, you've seen so many indirect messages that the average movie watcher will be will, will overlook. But if you watch it again, you like, wow. And also, they these both of these brothers call some flack as well because, you know, they, they're married to white women. So they figured, um, how could he speak for black America and they're married to white women? But at the same time, since these people are married to white women and they, and they, they speaking on their experiences. So therefore, they, Jordan Peele was speaking probably from experience that he dealt with having a white wife or her family. Cause I find it ironic that his wife kind of looks like the girl. From Get Out. I mean, you know, I'm just going by what I see. But going back to Childish Gambino, that video was very hard, man. Like, even when you look at the end where it was creepy, where, you know, he was running from the police. And you hear Young Thug 
runaway black man. Oh, runaway black man. And he's running from the police and you see his eyes and it's just in horror. This is the he was talking about the fears that black men go through in America when he's talking about this is America. There's a lot of messages in that song, man. I mean, it, and you know, as, as time go on, I appreciate it even more. So that song right there in Red Bone, that pretty much made Childish Gambino a star. That put him on with black people. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, peace.